Hello, welcome to our toddler time yoga today. To get started, you want to be in the nice crisscross applesauce legs. Our hands are to the sides. We're gonna breathe and fully bring our hands up to the sky, up to the sky, up to the sky. And then bring our hands together and down to the heart. So this is called the heart center. Again, hands up to the sky, take a breath, reach for the stars, reach, 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 reach. Bring your hands together and down to your heart center. Beautiful. So today, my friends, we are going to go under the sea. We're gonna have an under the sea adventure. So for all of us, again, remember, if you've done yoga before, if you have not done yoga before, it doesn't matter. We're all right here on the same page, right? So to get started for an under the sea adventure, first, we're going to take a boat ride. This boat ride is, you're gonna place your feet in front of you like this. So place your feet down and then mom, dad, or grandparents, or grown up is going to place their feet next to yours as well. So you're gonna have toes to toes. If you don't, if you have more than one child, then you can do the same thing and then just place your feet toe to toe with the other children and then the other children also place their toes together. We're gonna to hold hands and we're gonna to try to bring one leg up Oh, and then bring the other leg up. Oh, yes. And here we are bringing both legs up and we're gonna hold, and this is called boat pose. And we're gonna hold right here and then come on down. All right, so now we're gonna stay with our feet this way. And all we're going to do is place our hands on our knees, right? These are our knees. We're going to lean back just a little bit like we were before and just bring our hands up. This is going to make our belly muscles super, super, super strong. Once we have our belly muscles very strong, that means that we can run, we can walk, we can sit tall. So that's why we want our belly muscles to be strong. Option, if you would like to bring one foot up and then the other foot up, you can hold it here or we can alternate and bring one foot down and then switch or just leave both feet up. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's get into a nice boat pose, holding boat right here, good and strong with those belly muscles. And we're gonna go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream and the boat capsizes, woo, and turns over. Let's do that one more time, right? Plant your feet on the floor, hold on to the knees, get nice and tall. Lean back a little bit, bring your hands out, and again, you can leave your feet here or you can bring them up however you like. And we're gonna go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. Capsize. Woo! We're almost there. We're getting there. We're getting there. Once again, let's bring your feet down. Hold on to the knees. Lean back and go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. If you see a crocodile, don't forget to scream. And we're there. Oh, our ship went down. Or not our ship, our little boat just kind of capsized. So we're going to start swimming. So let's get on our hands and knees. This is called table pose. If we have our hands under our shoulders, our knees under our hips, and here we're just gonna move side to side, right? Because we're in the ocean, we're in the sea. So 
moving side to side because that's what the C does. The C never stops moving. So we're just going to move our bodies like this. And then from here, we're gonna get down on our mats. So we're gonna come on down to the mat. Now, if I get down, you might not see me too well, but hold on our bellies, on our mats. You're gonna bring your hands out in front of you and we're going to bring our feet up and we're going to kick, 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 kick. Kick, 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 kick. Look at me kick, I'm swimming. And then bring your hands up and then we're going to move our hands. We're gonna, I'm gonna swim, 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 swim. I'm gonna swim, 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 swim. I'm gonna swim, 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 swim. Oh, but our mat turns into, guess what? It turns into a surfboard. So we're gonna come onto the mat. We're gonna step on our mat and we're gonna get nice and tall. Yes, we're gonna stand on our mats. And since our mat turned into a surfboard, we're going to jump to one side, jump your feet apart, and the foot that's towards the front of the mat is going to turn the toes. So the toes turn, bend that knee. You're gonna bend that front knee, open your arms nice and wide, and we're surfing, surfing USA. Surfing, you're surfing, your back leg is straight, your front leg is bent, and we're surfing, woo! surfing stand nice and still because the waves are moving you right the waves are moving and here comes a big wave and wipe out down to the floor all right we're gonna do that one more time so first we're gonna swim get on your mats and you're going to swim 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 this also makes our belly muscles so nice and strong so because we have really really strong belly muscles we're able to come on up to our surfboard jump towards the middle we're gonna come up hands on your hips and you're gonna turn jumping to the other side so we're gonna jump to the other side jump your feet apart your front foot remember the one that's towards the front of the mat or your surfboard is going to turn so the toes are turning good and you're nice and tall open your arms bend that knee and again let's this time stay nice and still we're going to try to be nice and still so i'm going to turn so you see how the pose is supposed to look so you're here right and then this is what you're doing so we're holding our pose. We're holding, oh, but the waves come, right? Oh, since the sea never stops to move, we are not still completely. We are also moving. And there comes a big wave and wipe out. Down, oh, well. So let's come on up again. And we were talking about how the sea never is still. It's always moving because it has waves. So we're going to make some waves with our legs as well. So we're going to open those feet and then just move your legs side to side. Move your legs side to side. Move your legs side to side, making waves, big waves, fast waves, little waves or slow waves, however you'd like to do it. We're making waves with our legs. Great. So now we're going to go under the seat. We're gonna crisscross our legs, come in front. And are you ready? We're going to take a nice deep breath in. And then we're gonna go under the seat and we're gonna go ooh, under the seat. 
be right here. We're gonna go diving. So we have special masks. We have a special gear that's going to help us breathe underwater, okay? As long as we want to, we're gonna be under the sea, breathing under the sea with our special equipment. So let's get on our knees, on our shins, and then up, and then here we are, and just move side to side. Move side to side. So this is the grass that lives under the sea. So you can just move. Oh, and there's like tall ones, so if you like, you can also get onto your feet and then just move the body side to side. You're moving. And the grass that's under the sea, it's called sometimes, you know, it's like seaweed. So we're seaweed. The seaweed is dancing, right? You can come back down to your knees if you like or stay up on your feet and just moving side to side, up and down, just like seaweed. Okay, so along the seaweed, just like what you see up here on earth or on top, on land I should say, sometimes we have a few things under the sea that are very similar, like trees. There are beautiful trees that live under the sea as well. So we're gonna come on up, stand nice and tall. Okay, so this right here is called a mountain pose. And guess what? There are some mountains under the sea as well. There are tall mountains and there are some smaller mountains. We're good and strong, right? And now the grown up with you is going to give you a little earthquake test. So earthquake is when the earth shakes a little bit, it just kind of dances a little bit. And then if we are so super strong mountains, that means that the mountain is going to stay still and not crumble down to, you know, like down towards the earth a little bit more or the center of the earth in this case, because we're under the sea. So grownups, we're gonna come on over to your little one. And what you're going to do is we're going to just give a little bit of a push very slowly though, very gently. So come on over your little one, little friends, come on. Friends, let's be tall, and then from here, we're going to come on over and just give you a little push. Good and strong. So now, the grown-ups are going to be the tall mountain. Let's get strong and tall, and what's going to happen is that now, friends, let's give the grown-ups uh, an earthquake test. So we're gonna go towards the grown-ups. So grown-ups, you can be tall on your feet or you can be on your knees as well, whatever you prefer to do. And then friends, let's give a little push. So we're gonna push a little bit and see if that mountain crumbles or if that mountain stays tall. Whoop. We are tall and strong, good. So on these mountains, there's lots of different kinds of trees down in the bottom of the sea. First, we're gonna plant these trees. So let's get down like a little ball right here. You're gonna get coming down to this little ball and then we're gonna feel at the bottom where the roots and then the tree, so in this case, if it was land, it would be watering. In this case, right here, the tree is getting all its nutrients and food that it needs to grow, 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 grow. Bring your hands all the way up. 
stand nice and tall. And we grow tall, tall, tall to the very reaching up. And down. Good. So that is one kind of tree. Another kind of tree is where we are going to plant the roots. So bring your hands to your heart center. Remember what that is? Our heart center right here. Bringing your hands to your heart center. From here, we're going to turn one foot and just place that foot just next to our leg. That heel is gonna go next to the leg. And here, we're gonna feel so strong to standing almost in one leg. So this is another kind of treat. Hands in your heart center. Everybody, bring that foot up slowly, slowly, slowly without setting it right on your knee. So you want to always not place that foot on the knee, but you want to have it either under the knee, or if you like to have a challenge, you can hold on to your foot with your hand and bring it all the way up and then place it right here on the inside of your leg, right there. So it's up to you, whatever you want to do, but let's try first. This kind of tree is just planting the root, so my foot is the root of the tree, and I'm tall right there, and slowly you're going to bring this foot up, up, and just set it there. Once that's planted, the trunk of the tree, the branches start to grow and grow and reach up and then even open up because it's a very beautiful wide tree. So because we're under the sea, what happens? The sea is never still. So there's a little bit of movement and that is okay because nothing is still. You are just moving and down. Okay, so now we're gonna do the same tree but with the other side and we're going to test and see how our ability to maintain ourselves strong, right, and focus. So this time, friends, I want you to focus. How do we focus is we're going to look at something. We're going to be staring at that thing because you know what to do now, right? You know what we did the tree. So now you know how to do tree in the other side. So we're going to focus and look at one spot. So grown-ups can help your little one by placing something about six feet or so in front of them down towards the ground because that's the easiest at this point. So find that focal point. So whatever you're grown up, if you're growing up, put something in front of you, then you're going to be staring at that thing. Try not to look at iPad or computer, any kind of screen. We're going to be looking at one object. And now turn that foot. Remember, we're switching the foot. So now it's the other foot. We're planting the roots of the tree. So my foot, my toes are like roots that go down. Hands to your heart center, getting nice and tall. Woo. And then from here, let's start to bring that foot up. Right there. Good. And now from here, slowly, slowly, the branches go up and then they can open. Nice. Beautiful trees. I love it. Look at all those trees. It looks like a forest. So now we're going to bring our hands back to our heart center. Good, still in one foot, and then bring that foot down. Whoa, let's shake. Let's shake those legs. Let's shake, 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 shake. Nice. So around this tree, there's some sea ants. 
march, 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 march. The ants go marching one by one, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching two by two, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching three by three, the little one stays two. Climb a tree, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching four by four, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching five by five, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching six by six, the little one stays two. Pick up sticks, and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching. What was it? Seven by seven, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching eight by eight, hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching nine by nine, the little one stays too. Tell the time. Do, 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 do. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. The ants go marching ten by ten. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching ten by ten. The little one stays to say the end. And they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Boom, 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 boom. Woo! Yay! Nice! All right, so those magical ants live under the tree. But guess what also lives under those trees in the sea? So in the sea, we have sand. So they live under the sand and they like to live there. It's a turtle. So the big, big turtles that live in the sea, and especially the super, super big ones are called the Galapagos turtles. Those are giant turtles that live in the islands of Galapagos. And I am from Ecuador and Ecuador, that's where the Galapagos are. So we're gonna have a Galapagos turtle. First, we're going to have our legs nice and wide, right? So we're gonna widen our legs a little bit like this. Hands to your heart center. Hands down towards the mat. From here, we're going to open. So bring those hands under your legs and walk your fingers out. And this is your turtle. Now, what do turtles like to do sometimes when they go to sleep is hide their heads in their shells. So we're gonna hide our heads under the sand or in the shell. And this is a little turtle pose. Beautiful. So now that we did turtle, we're going to do a few different fish. So one of my favorite is a butterfly fish. So just like your legs are, bring those feet together. So we're going to bring our feet together. Knees are going to be wide. And then we're going to just move our legs. Move those knees up and down. But this one here is a beautiful that has the fins nice and wide. So we're going to move our legs, but we're also moving our hands. Our arms are going up and down. Nice. Up and down. Beautiful. Okay, friends. Another type of fish is the flower fish. Yep, there's a flower fish. It's this fish that has many, 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 many colors. So it looks like a flower. 
So how do we do the flower fish? Very simple. Remember how we did turtle, hands to your heart center. You're gonna bring the hands down again towards the middle right here. I'm gonna open my feet a little bit so you can see. My hands are right here in the middle between my legs. With one hand, you're gonna turn the palm up and bring it under one leg and you're gonna pick up that leg. Turn the palm up and then let's move to the other leg. So we're picking up both legs. And this is the flower fish. And you can move side to side if you like, like you're swimming around the sea. Nice. Okay. My other favorite fish is the wolf fish. There is a wolf fish. And how do we do the wolf fish is we're going to get on our knees. So come onto your knees right here. Good. You're on your knees. And now we're just going to come on down. So we're sitting on our shins. Let's make sure that those heels are tucked under and not out. So those heels are tucked under. We're on our shins. We're gonna bring our hands together. Clasp your hands. So hold on, fold your fingers, and then place your hands on your knees like this. One finger, so you're actually two. Your index fingers are gonna go out. So you're gonna be like that. Index fingers come down. We're gonna take a nice thin breath. So we're gonna breathe in through our nose. For the wolf fish. Again, let's come on down. One more time, we're going to take an inhale. And then the wolf says, Beautiful. You want to do it one more time. Let's bring our hands down and we're going to breathe in. The wolf fish says, Hands under your shoulders, and we're going to bring our knees back a little bit so that our knees are under our hips, just like we did at the beginning. Let's move side to side a little bit. Remember, we move side to side because the ocean or the sea is never still. It's always moving. Bring those hands under your shoulders. A fish that we're going to see is the kitty catfish. So this kitty catfish is going to tuck your chin in, looking at your knees, and let's have our spine, let's have our backs round. Once again, friends, I'm going to turn to my side so you can see me, and you can see how my back is going to be. So my back is flat. But when I'm the kitty catfish, my back starts to get round and I look at my knees and I'm looking at the knees, I'm looking at my legs. And what does that happen is that my back is getting so, so round. Beautiful. Come on, looking forward so you can look at the screen. And now you can see that we're going to tuck our toes. So you tuck your toes. And then we're going to see some seahorses. Did you know that there's horses under the sea? They are beautiful and very small. And this is how the seahorses look like under the sea. Or this is how they sound. 
We're going to bring our hips up, stretching your legs as much as you can. Stretch your legs, stretch your legs, bring. And then very gently, maybe with the help of a grown-up, if you like, when you're very careful, you're going to kick back one foot at a time. Nay! 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 Did you like that fish? I did too. It's a seahorse. Actually, it's a sea creature. So once again, we're going to be doing that. Tucking your toes. Okay. Stretch your legs so your hips come up to the sky. And then right here, you can look at your toes if you like. So you're looking down either to the ground, right in, in the center, or you can start looking at your toes. And gently, we're going to go, nay, 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 nay. Nice. Coming back right here, getting on your shins, just leaning back. This other fish is so amazing and I love it so much because this fish right here, it is called the squirrel fish. It's a jumping squirrel fish. So the jumping squirrel fish, we're going to get tall and then we're going to jump and then down. And again, that jumping squirrel fish is gonna come up and jump. And then come down. Ready? We're gonna be jumping squirrels. So a squirrel fish and Beautiful. So now, friends, let's go on our bellies one more time. Come on to your bellies, down on your mat. Bringing your hands next to your chest. And I have a question for you. Do snakes have elbows? Do snakes have shoulders? Well, the answer is no, right? So because they don't have elbows or shoulders, we're gonna hide those elbows and tuck our shoulders back a little bit. And then from here, pressing on our hand, we're gonna lift a little bit, lift, 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 and come to an eel. So eels are snakes from the sea. It's a sea snake. So we can be an eel or many other kinds of sea snakes. And then hold, and what does the snake say? Again, what does the snake say? And slowly come on down. One more time, we're gonna be another kind of snake. And this one right here, this other kind of snake is even a little bit taller. So pressing on your hands and your arms, and you're gonna come up, come up, come up, come up, and be nice and tall. And what does the snake say? And Beautiful. Friends, after seeing all that wonderful, just wonders that are under the sea, it is time to go home. So because we're going home, we're going to take a special ride. So there is a magic bus that is under the sea like a submarine, and then from here, it goes out to land. And we're gonna be taking that bus right now. So everybody sit and buckle up. So we're gonna sit and buckle up. Now, with our little, little, little friends, parents, they might need your help. 
And how you can do it is by you actually moving their legs or arms when it's needed. Okay, for the rest of us, if we can just sit, but not only sit. So we're gonna sit, plant our feet on the floor. Using our big, strong belly muscles, we're gonna go all the way back. So once again, I'm going to turn to my side, but you can stay how you are. I'm going to turn to my side, so maybe the grown-up is going to show you how to do it, and you can follow them if the grown-up can look. So we're gonna, I'm gonna turn to my side right here, down on the floor. We're gonna lift one leg, lift the other leg. Our hands are gonna go out, so we have a little bit of balance. And we're ready, we're buckled up, and we're ready to take the bus. And the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, all through the town. Now we're going to have our knees to our belly. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all through the town, woo! Friends, we're going to do the same thing with our arms. You can stay where you are with your legs down, okay, and just move your arms, or if you prefer, you can come to a seated position, crisscross your legs in front of you, get tall right here, or stay lying down. It is your choice. We're gonna go. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. The doors on the bus go open and shut, open and shut, open and shut. The doors on the bus go open and shut all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. Swish, 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 the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, move on back, move on back. The driver of the bus says, move on back, all through the town. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep all through the town. My friends on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The friends on the bus go up and down, all through the town. Way! Yay, yay, yay! Namaste! Yay, yay, yay! Namaste! Say it with me. Yay, 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 namaste. Yay, 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 namaste. Yay, so we're gonna come on back. Let's get back onto our knees. Staying tall. This is good for your belly muscles, right? And I know I talk about belly muscles a lot, but it's so important because this is going to let us run fast, sit or stand tall. It's all right here. So with your hands in front, you're gonna make fists and open, fist and open, fist and open, okay? And then just go a little bit faster just like little starbursts. 
and parents or grown-ups, if you like, we can come down to this thunderbolt and we're going to do that with the children as well. So with our hands going like this, we're going to sing. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Let's go up. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! Remember? Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay, 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 namaste. Yay, 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 namaste. So now we're on land. And in order to go back, remember we took the bus back from under the sea, we took the bus back to land. And now we're in land. We're gonna ride our horse back to our homes or wherever you are at this moment. So in your imagination, we are at a big, beautiful beach all full of sand and the sky is nice and bright. The sun is warm and shining and the beautiful sea is next to us with the waves coming in and out. So we're going to get onto our horse. Let's get onto our horse right here. <clears throat> Holding on to the reins. We're going to hold on and we're going to go. This is the way the ladies ride, hippity hip, hippity hip, hippity hip. This is the way the boys ride, hoppity hop, hoppity hop, hoppity hop. And this is the way the cowboys ride, hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. Woohoo! We're almost there. This is the way the ladies ride, hippity hip, hippity hip, hippity hip. This is the way the boys ride. Hoppity hop, hoppity hop, hoppity hop. And this is the way the cowboys ride. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. Woohoo! Yeehaw! One more time. This is the way the ladies ride. Hippity hip, hippity hip, hippity hip. This is the way the boys ride. Hoppity hop, hoppity hop. Hoppity hop, and are you ready? And this is the way the cowboys ride. Hippity hop, hippity hop, hippity hop. Woo! Our horse, come on back. All right. So now that we're here, we're going to shake. Shake one leg, shake the other leg, shake your arm, shake the other arm. Shake, 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 shake your body. Shake, 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 shake. Give it a good shake. Shake, shake, shake. Oh. And ready? We're gonna come on down. So now we're lying down on our mats. However you like, you can lie down on your side with your grown up. You can be looking at one another. You can be on your backs completely. Hmm. With your arms out your legs are long, and your eyes are closed. So take a moment to get into this very important pose called Shavasana. Stay lying down, lie down. Even if you're on your side looking at mom, it is time to close your eyes.
With your eyes closed, we're gonna breathe in through the nose, out through the nose, If you're stuffed up or if you have any kind of congestion, it's okay if you need to breathe out through the mouth or in and out through the mouth. Imagine that you are lying down in a beautiful magic carpet. Yes, a magic carpet. This beautiful magic carpet is designed with your favorite colors, with your favorite shapes. It's designed specially for you. So you're going to be flying wherever you would like to go. Repeat after me. My whole body is relaxed. My whole body is relaxed. My whole body is relaxed. Now that you're relaxed, with your eyes closed or open, you're going to smile and relax. Because when we smile, we have a nice little feeling in our bellies. We have a good feeling in our hearts. So again, let's smile. Smile like if somebody is taking a picture of you. And relax. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, move your arms. Move your arms up and down just like seaweed from under the sea adventure. And just moving your arms and just be seaweed for a little bit and move our bodies very slowly. But let's go and see if we can do super, super, super slow. Slowly moving your arms. If you go too fast, it's not gonna work well. So we wanna go very slowly. And then as we go, bring your hands together and bring your hands to your heart center. And start to become still, unlike the sea, unlike the ocean. You want to become still, still as still can be. Thank you so much for being here today. I appreciate you joining us, taking your time to do yoga with me and share your practice. May you always have much love, peace, and happiness, and your parents too. Namaste. Yay, yay, yay. Namaste. Sing it with me. Yay, yay, yay. Namaste. Yay, yay, yay. Namaste. Thank you. For more information regarding a toddler yoga class, you can look at our website also at www.willowyoga.com. Currently, we are having toddler classes outside in nature. So we are enjoying that time that we can have outside. Thank you so much. Have a great summer.